Ranking every Cypress Porn Warzone from Modern Warfare to Vanguard. Welcome back, I'm Austin. I'll be ranking every assault rifle and SMG as a sniper support. I'm gonna start with the Cold War ARs, and the FAR is a competitive long range weapon, but as a sniper support, it's only gonna be viable because of its lower end time to kill up close of 675 milliseconds. You have to get one headshot to get the Cold War AKs TTK, so why would we ever use this? Now for the Krig, this is a viable long range weapon because it's so accurate, but it has no upside up close and a super low TTK. It's gonna be below average, I would not use this thing. Now the XM4, I have sort of teetering between competitive and meta, but I'm going to throw it in competitive. It does have elite movement for an AR with its ADS. And it also has a decent time to kill of 665, so just a little bit better than the Farah. But with one neck shot, you get a sub 600 time to kill. Has really good movement, really good upside, so it can definitely compete with any single weapon here. Now the FFAR is going to be one of these ones that is also teetering between meta and competitive. But I'm going to throw it down here because the movement isn't great and it isn't as accurate as these other assault rifles on this list, but you get a sub 600 TTK without any headshots. So this fries and is still definitely viable to use on Caldera. Now the QBC, we're going back to back to back competitive weapons because this thing has the mobility of an SMG and the range of an AR. So you get a 619 millisecond time to kill, but you do require to hit mostly chest shots there, which is why it isn't in meta, but you get five meters per second on movement where the Cold War PPSH is 5.03. Then on range, you get 31 meters. The XM4 is only 22. The FFAR is 25, the Cold War AK is 25 meters. So you have elite range and elite movement with a good time to kill. Now the Groza is pretty much like a, just a really bad FFAR. So I'm just gonna throw it in below average, not much to say about it. Don't use it. The Cold War AK, we've been teasing this thing. It's definitely still top meta. It's one of the best sniper sports in the entire game. You got a really good time to kill. You can hit your shots with it, good over range. Just use this thing. Now the Grav reminds me of a less good AK. It has really similar feel, but the time to kill is 40 milliseconds slow. Lower, so I'm going to put it in viable just because it's just a worse AK. Now the EM2, this is a really big range of where it can be. If you're not that skilled, it's garbage. If you're a really good player, then it's competitive and I'm going to tell you why. So the movement isn't fantastic and you have to set your class up where you're really trying to help out its ADS and strafe speed. Base time to kill isn't good at 673. It's basically like the far, but if you get one headshot, it goes to 561 milliseconds. If you can hit your shots, this thing's competitive. If you can't, it's garbage. C58, I don't want to hear this one. I know it's a meta long range weapon, but as a sniper support, it's only viable. The time to kill up close isn't good. The movement isn't good. There's no upside with headshots. You need two headshots up close to lower the time to kill. There's no reason to use this thing as a sniper support. Long range, totally fine. It's meta, it's great. Close, don't use it. Man, this is a lot of weapons. Please make sure to like this video as I'm ranking over 60 weapons of sniper supports in Warzone and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. AN94, this thing is teetering between garbage and below average. I'm gonna throw it in below average just because of that weird thing it has with its first few bullets shooting faster, and if you hit them, then the weapon's decent, has a good time to kill. But if you don't hit those shots, it's garbage. M4A1 is definitely viable, got an okay time to kill, pretty good fire rate, so it's fairly forgiving. It's just a decent weapon that's sort of all around. Okay, the FN Scar, I'm gonna throw it in niche. I'm gonna tell you why. It's pretty accurate, can get a good time to kill, but the magazine is so small, making the damage for mag really low. Pairing this with a sniper, you might be able to get away with this in solos, but I just wouldn't suggest it. FR556, or as I like to call the FAMAS, I'm gonna call it garbage for a sniper support. It can get a good time to kill, but the reason it sucks is because the three bullets in its burst spread out really far. Like there's a really big bullet spread, so it's hard to hit all three bullets inside of one burst. Next up, we got the Odin, and this thing is actually gonna be considered viable for me. Now it has a super slow fire rate and is really unforgiving. It only has about a 410 to 415 rounds per minute. I don't remember the exact number, so forgive me. This thing with one chest shot gets a 580 millisecond TTK, which is better than all of these weapons are without getting a headshot. It's just so unforgiving unforgiving, but just the upside is going to get it in viable. Now the M13 is going to be another one of these weapons that's super accurate and a really good fire rate, so it's really forgiving. I'm going to put it in viable as well for the complete opposite reason of the Odin. It doesn't have upside, but the time to kill is decent, really fast fire rate, really accurate, so it's not bad, but the damage for mag is low. The Ram 7, we're going to go in viable again. You're going to notice this with a lot of Modern Warfare weapons. It has a decent TTK of 630 milliseconds, a good fire rate. It's pretty easy to aim out to 30, 40 meters. It's not 
not bad, it's not good. The Kilo, this one is in the same boat once again. It's really accurate, 640 millisecond TTK. It's basically just slightly slower than the Ram, but it's a little bit easier to aim. You can use this thing out to 50 meters easily. You don't have super big upside, so that's why it's only inviolable. The FAL, I'm gonna call this niche. This thing has super big upside. The base TTK is 600, one headshot, it goes to 480 milliseconds, which is by far the fastest TTK we've seen on the list yet but you only got 30 bullets, you have to have a fast trigger finger and you have to hit those shots. If you're missing any of your bullets, it's gonna really hamper the time to kill. It can be so good and so bad at the same time. Now the growl, I don't know. This thing is almost below average, like as a long range weapon, it's very viable if not competitive, but as a sniper sport, the TTK is really low. I'm gonna throw it at the bottom of viable. These aren't in any order. It just doesn't have enough upside. Headshots won't do anything up close and the fire rate isn't super good. The TTK isn't super good. The movement is and it just, ugh. Now the AS foul, this is gonna be another one of those niche things. This is the fastest time to kill fully automatic weapon in the entire game, but it has really slow movement and it is not very accurate and it only has 30 bullets in the clip. Horrible damage for mag. But just because it can kill so fast, you could get away with using this in solos and you would fry everyone inside of 15 to 20 meters. AMAX, we're gonna be throwing this in viable once again. It doesn't have a super fast fire rate, doesn't have a super fast TTK up close. It isn't hard to aim, it works well over range, but it just doesn't have the upside of these other weapons. This thing, garbage, I don't really wanna talk about it. You know, I take it back. This thing is below average. I don't know why I threw it in garbage. I was being a little overcritical. It's not good, but it's not that bad. The Eat Your Burst, now this thing is garbage. Do not use this, I won't go into it. The bar is going to be below average. It's actually really good as a long range weapon but this thing has a 400 fire rate so it's even slower than the odin and to put the attachments on that actually make it kill faster you're gonna drop to below 400 rounds per minute and the time to kill is nowhere near as good as the odin there's no reason to ever use this thing at close range the as44 this this is an interesting one it's definitely competitive but it could be meta i just i, I don't know i really love using the as44 as an smg but to make it good over range might be a little bit difficult because if you build this thing out to have an insane time to kill up close the recoil is a little bit too hard to use it out to 40 50 meters you don't have as good of range as the ak or these other weapons but it just kills so quickly up close that it's competitive now the stg 44 this is one that i noticed a lot of people don't like to use that much as a sniper sport but i personally think it's meta if you use the 45 round mag you get a 638 millisecond ttk which obviously is a little bit better than most of these weapons lower than a few of them that i have ranked below it you're getting people out to 75 meters even with a red dot on it it's just the most accurate weapon ever. It's so easy to use and you still get a pretty good time to kill. I just think the balance of ease of use plus TTK plus mobility is good enough to consider this thing meta. Next up, we got the NZ41, and this thing is gonna be considered viable. It has a pretty good time to kill of 600 milliseconds like the AK-47, but the reason it's down here is because it's a lot more difficult to use. The recoil isn't too bad for about the first 20 bullets, but then it gets super crazy where it just randomly goes left, right, up, or down. There's no actual recoil pattern on this thing after you shoot 20 shots. So it's really weird. That's why it's inviable instead of competitive. Now the Volk, this is gonna go straight into the competitive tier because you can get SMG movement with this thing. You're just seriously sprinting around and you can actually run faster with this thing than a lot of the subs. It has better range, really good accuracy. The time to kill you can get to about 640 milliseconds, which is pretty decent. It's not elite, but the reason this thing is considered competitive for me is because of the gung-ho perk where it eliminates sprint to fire time. On ARs, that's usually about 200 to 250 milliseconds and on SMGs, that's about 117. So that means you're getting that much of an advantage. So even if the time to kill is a little bit slower, you got to start shooting your gun first. To cancel it out, you do have to hit fire. If you try to ADS off of sprinting, you're still going to have the 200-ish millisecond delay. But if you hit fire out of it, then you got no delay. So you just got to build this thing to be really good at hip fire, and it's going to be super competitive. The Cooper Carbine is going to be top meta. I would probably consider this the top end sniper support in the game right now, just because of all the attachments you can gear towards increasing its time to kill with fire rate. Just really good, really easy to use. And then the Automaton, this is definitely a competitive long range weapon. And for a cyber sport, I have it kind of going in between viable and competitive, but I'm gonna throw it in viable right now. I'd probably throw it on the top in viable because it's super easy to use and hit all of your shots. And if you use the 50 round mag, you get a much better time to kill and it's semi-competitive. It's still a little bit too slow for me to consider competitive. The top break, this is gonna be considered the M40, the new AR that was just added in season two. It isn't on this list right now. So the top break is just gonna be it. And I'm gonna consider it below average. It's super accurate, just like the automaton and these other weapons. The time to kill is just a little bit too slow for me to consider using this thing as a sniper sport.
start. Now we finally finished the ARs and we're moving on to the SMGs. The AK-74U is going to be viable. I don't know much to say about it. The movement speed is a little bit slow, but the accuracy for an SMG is really good. The range for an SMG is really good. And the time to kill is decent. The Milano is also going to be another viable one. I'd probably throw it towards the top end of the list. It has about a 625 millisecond TTK, which isn't too far off most of these weapons above it. And it has good movement. The range is only 19 meters before the time to kill drops off. So all these ARs are going to have more range with a time to kill that's pretty equivalent to this SMG, but it is super accurate and has super good mobility. You could definitely still use this thing. Now the LC-10, I kind of dogged this thing as an SMG when I ranked every sub, but as a sniper support, I'd probably throw it in the bottom section of viable because it has a 675 millisecond TTK like the Farah. It doesn't have quite as much range and isn't quite as accurate. So I would use the Farah over this any day, but it's pretty similar, but the movement is better. And the MAC-10, this is one I would not use as a sniper support. I'm going to throw it in below average. That has really good movement, a 595 millisecond time to kill, but it does have a 50 millisecond open bolt delay, meaning after you pull the trigger, that's how long it takes for it to start firing. And then it doesn't have good range, really bad damage for mag. I just would never use this thing as a sniper support. Now the KSP, this is just trash no matter how you use it i'm not going to talk about it cold war mp5 this is one of those ones that change depending on what mode you're using it. if it's rebirth i'd call it competitive if it's caldera i'd call it viable because it has a 560 millisecond ttk which is really good it only has nine meters of range and isn't super accurate so caldera is way too big of a map to use this thing viably with a sniper but on rebirth it's competitive i'm going to leave it up here for now bullfrog super accurate super big damage for mag which is super helpful on sniper support weapons because you don't have another weapon to use up close but the time to kill isn't super great and they lowered the headshot damage it used to have a really crazy time to kill if you got one headshot but now it takes a few extras to get that ttk so i'm gonna call it viable just because it's really easy to use has a really good damage for mag and then if we go to the ppsh this is one of those ones i have going between meta and competitive i'm gonna throw it in competitive just because over range you're not gonna be able to aim this as well as these top three weapons like if you're at 40 50 meters you're gonna have a way easier time with these ars but the ppsh has a 595 millisecond ttk like the mac 10 but it only has a 33 millisecond open bolt delay you have great movement on this really good damage for mag with a 71 round clip and it's just really good it actually has a better time to kill at range than most of the ars at 660 milliseconds and then you also have elite range for an smg of 17 and a half meters but it just isn't quite accurate enough at long range to be considered meta in my opinion I'm not gonna scroll down a little because apparently this list is getting super fat with over 60 weapons that i'm ranking now the ots same exact thing as the cold war mp5 except for it has seven and a half meters of range with the 560 millisecond ttk better mobility worse damage per mag so honestly i would probably use the cold war mp5 over the ots in my opinion as a sniper support so i i'd lower this thing to viable i'm gonna say same thing rebirth you can consider competitive then in caldera i'd consider it viable i'm just gonna have one in each category to illustrate my point there now the nail gun it's just a niche where it has a really good time to kill but you can't put a single attachment on it only 20 bullets super terrible bullet flaw if you want you could have fun with this in solos but it still is not going to be that good i would use all of these other niche weapons over the nail gun now the lapa that is going to be a top meta weapon if you use the correct barrel this thing has an elite ttk better than the mp40 you've got to try this out it's super accurate the only negative about it is the iron sights are disgusting but if we're using it as a sniper sport we're obviously going to be using a micro flex led on it the lapa is great try it out the Tech Knight's like the lap where there's a bunch of different barrels making it varying levels of good. I'm just going to call it viable. It wouldn't be amazing, but it could be pretty good up close. So I would say it's better in Rebirth than it would be on Caldera. The Finnick, we're on to Modern Warfare weapons. This is going to be one of those ones where I'm going to call it below average just because the damage for mag is going to be super low. It has a super fast fire rate and a good time to kill, but the damage for mag is going to be too harmful to making this work well and it's definitely not accurate enough the iso i've never actually used but i had someone in the last video ranking subs say it's kind of like the fennec maybe i should just throw it right next to it i'm not an expert on the iso so don't take my word on this one now the mp7 this thing is definitely still competitive this thing basically has the same time to kill as the cold war mp5 and the ots at 567 milliseconds instead of 560 but it has more range and it's more accurate so i would use this thing over these two weapons any day of the week as a sniper support now if we go to the striker 45 
This thing is just trash. Don't use it. PP19 Biazon, just trash. Don't use it. This is probably the worst gun in the game right here, the Biazon. Like, I, I hate this thing with a passion. All right, now that we're back to a semi-decent weapon, we're going to be looking at the P90, which I'm going to consider viable. It has pretty good damage for mag. It's fairly accurate. The time to kill is okay, not great. So this thing is just decent. Now, the CX-9, I'm going to throw this thing straight into competitive. Has a good fire rate. Has a really good time to kill of 580 milliseconds. It has a bit more range than these two weapons. I'd probably rather use this on Caldera than either one of these but it's also great on rebirth the uzi this thing is garbage you do have an ammo conversion where it's a 32 round clip and then you get the same ttks as the cold war ak-47 but it still won't be as accurate and i don't know why i'd ever use this thing when i could just use the cold war ak-47 that's going to have more range and just going to be better consider it garbage but the 32 round clip makes it okay the modern warfare mp5 i'm going to throw it in the same boat as these other subs with little range but good time to kill us up close just to keep it balanced i'm going to put it in viable because all four of these weapons right here i would much rather use on rebirth as good competitive sniper sports but on caldera i consider them more viable if we go over to the aug i'm going to consider this thing viable and i'm going to throw it towards the top i'm going to tell you why it isn't competitive and that's because its mobility is trash but if you put on that 556 nano ammo it actually has an insane time to kill and is super accurate so you're going to be lumbering around like you're actually slower with this weapon than a lot of assault rifles so that's why it's in viable instead of competitive but when you're firing this thing it feels fantastic i'm going to go on to the tommy gun it's going to be another viable weapon it just isn't that great and now my list is so fat i can't even see the weapons at the bottom basically just average it has a 600 ttk but not that good of range and now i gotta scroll down and i'm knocking the top meta weapons off the owen gun this thing let's scroll back up this is going to be a top meta weapon it's actually insanely good you can build this thing to be super accurate and have about a 612 millisecond ttk where it has about a 25 meter range and a time to kill that's competitive with all of these other weapons or what you can do is make a weapon that has a little bit more kick and it's not going to be quite as good at range but you can get under a 500 millisecond time to kill it depends on what magazine you use this thing is amazing i would definitely try this out as a sniper sport i love this weapon now if we go to the type 100 i'm going to call it viable and it's going to be solely due to the fact that it has gung-ho like the volk or the as44 which i actually forgot to mention that on the as44 i know we're talking about the type this thing has gung-ho as well which is what makes it really good gung-ho is what makes this thing viable other than that i wouldn't consider it a great weapon the ppsh I'm going to call this same category as these other subs that only have good time to kills up close and don't have much range. But this thing, if you use the 71 round clip, you can get a busted time to kill and busted hip fire. I would actually consider this thing just a better modern warfare MP5. It's going to be competitive on rebirth, viable on Caldera. If we go to the MP40, I'm going to call this competitive. I would say it's competitive on Caldera. I still prefer to use weapons with a little bit more range and have better TTKs. But this thing is super accurate and it has a really good time to kill when you put on the 45 round mag it's definitely competitive as a sniper support if we go to the sten another one that i'm just going to put in viable because of its gung-ho nature i prefer to use this thing as an smg versus a sniper support but it's still pretty good now the 1911 this is going to be the well gun isn't on this list for some reason and i'm going to be dragging this thing all the way up to competitive because it has a busted time to kill and it's really accurate just kind of envision the mp40 but you have a slightly better time to kill super great if you want to see the top 10 sniper support loadouts click on this video right here peace